How many orbitals are in the n equals 4 shell of an atom? Well, the shortcut to figure that out is just take the n and square it. The total number of orbitals is going to be n squared. In this case, 4 squared is 16. There's your answer. But let me show you why. I'm going to do it with quantum numbers here, n equals 4. Once you're there, you know that L can either be 0 or 1 or 2 or 3. Those are your options once n equals 4 because L goes from 0 up to n minus 1. Now you might know these as the S, P, D, and F subshells. Now you may already know how many orbitals are in each of those subshells. But if you don't, I want to point out that once L is 0, then ML itself is limited to just 0. When L is 1, your ML can be negative 1, 0, or 1. When L is 2, it can be negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, or 2. And you've probably figured out that when L is 3, your ML can go all the way from negative 3 up to positive 3. Those are the rules. Now what your teacher is asking here is what is an orbital here? The answer is each one of these options is an orbital. So there's one and there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen orbitals, just like I told you. Maybe you've been asked how many electrons you can fit in there. Well, each of the orbitals themselves, each of the orbitals themselves hold two electrons. And so 16 orbitals in total can hold 32 electrons. Nice, we did it all. More importantly, I gave you a shortcut and then actually proved to you why that shortcut works. Thanks for being with me and best of luck.